everybody. Welcome to the 42 show where we got all the news and headlines and funny stories you could ever want or ask for. And tonight we ask, we uh, start with a question from Dunk. Hey, hello, you shitty buggers out there. Yes, we have we have another new news headline. Uh, we'd like to fin- you to finish off. <laughs> finish off. Yeah, that's quite funny, really. Um, yeah, so we have this headline here. It's, uh, I let my wife bonk the pizza delivery boy, but his todger didn't fit my blank. So that's, <laughs> I'm putting it into the, uh, into the, uh, text there so you can read it so yes we want you to fill in the blank uh yeah moderators uh yeah keep an eye on answers please and we'll check up on you at the end of the show (laughs) good one good one so are you a criminally minded right winger extremist who really thinks they've got their finger on the pulse well i hope this doesn't throw your day for a loop but he's in shit now fellow babies Donald Trump has been, uh, as a judge said, he defrauded banks and insurers while building his real estate empire. Yeah, uh, yeah, the one that's just crumbling away like the rest of his life right now. But this is going to be the first of many. It is now happening. Uh, it's no longer finger pointing. It's, yeah, you're screwed. It's the start. Yeah. It's the start. It's like it's like aerated concrete all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and along with this goes a little something where Trump went properly fascist and started condemning uh, NBC and MSNBC as treasonous and so on in this rant he just did recently, like two days ago as well. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, you know, you got to think about who you're going to put into power in politics. And as I understand it, he's still the leading candidate to to take power in the Republican nomination for the president's seat. You just can't do that, people. Come on. I, I feel so for, sorry Bobby. for him. So, so sorry for the Republican <laughs> Party. If that's your best choice. <laughs> just, just shut oh, it down and it. give up, you know, yeah. like, yeah. Just put, just get a moose and put it in a suit and put a tie on it. That would, uh, that would do a better job, please. Can we get some of the Republican uh, sort of evangelical fundamentalists back? They were fun. At least you know where you stood with <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, behind the behind the uh, barrel of a rifle, probably. But. Yeah, <laughs> but but the, here's the thing, though. This is kind of uh, really crappy too, in a way, because. In America, they pretty much got like a twin party system. It's one versus the other. And if the other's best shot is this criminally minded idiot, somebody who's walked on people for years to make money, then it's a very one sided contest. And that's just not good for democracy. You know, clean it up. Please, Republicans, get rid of those stupid hard right wingers and let the normal people be in charge for a while and you'll see that you'll do a lot better. I mean, Alex B. Keaton in Family Ties was a young Republican and he never would have gone for something like this. Come on. (laughs) It's getting crazy. Yeah, but why don't we hit the wheel of doom and see where we actually start tonight here? Is it Dunk again? Yes. Oh, it isn't. It's me. Oh. Okay. Well, I come in with like a, what I think might be a public service announcement for uh, these days quite a few people. But with the government shutdown uh, in the states and whatnot, anybody who's relying on food banks and other sort of uh, services like that to help get them through, uh, start making phone calls and making all alternate plans and stuff because all hell could break loose in your world very soon take this seriously uh it's all over the media i just got this one image up to uh you know bring bring it to light and make sure but uh yeah you know that's that could be very bad yeah i have a i have an old colleague that's uh you know uh re- really poorly and he's he's kind of like destitute in canada mm. losing a truck basically and he relies on food banks and he was posting on facebook it's like ooh, this is not gonna be good yeah exactly it's not gonna be good yeah so 
bad, 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 bad. You know, take care if you need to. And, you know, we hope everybody the best and whatnot, right? Um, what, what a great world we live in. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah uh so let's turn to dave here where uh, i just don't Not understand sure. how this kind of crap can happen in life yeah this is really interesting so there's this missouri woman who has been trying to convince the authorities that she isn't dead uh <laughs> For the past 17 years <laughs> i'm here i'm not quite hello dead. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm you free think it'd be that difficult <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not fooling anyone you know <laughs> an erroneous entry on a computer system has resulted in a woman's life being in inverted commas ended <laughs> as uh and yet she still lives and deals with the consequences of being in inverted commas dead <laughs> um <laughs> This is a, a wonderful story. I mean, it brings up a um, an interesting question for me, which is uh, if you were legally dead, but you weren't, yeah, what would you do? What could you get away with? <laughs> yeah. Right? Can't charge a dead person, you know? Uh, I mean, you're not going to get a driver's license or a mortgage if you're dead, but at the same time, yes. nobody mm. can hold you accountable for anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Send a ticket to a dead one. woman, you know? Yeah, what would what would they say? Oh, the the dead person was driving the vehicle. No, it's just you could just go full GTA. It doesn't but, matter. But if you got caught and arrested, and they put you in jail, you could never prove who you are, so that you could you know even get into court mm. to get yourself out. You'd be you'd just be lost. But why would the authorities be arresting dead bodies? This is... <laughs> I bet, I bet Trump is looking at this very, very closely. <laughs> <laughs> I found a loophole at last. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. From the grave, still running for office. <laughs> what, like Biden? <laughs> uh, well, I, hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh. right, they'd, they'd still be elected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I imagine that. Imagine that electing a dead person who's not dead but is dead. That's just crazy. Oh, um, we've definitely uh, don't. We've had that in the UK, surely. A few UK elections where somebody's ended up dying and they still got elected. Who was that? I've definitely heard that. I think some so. it's probably local elections and things mm. where they've died like two days before, but they're still on the ballot for some. Oh, okay, yeah, yes, uh, yes. Because it's the party that yeah. you're voting for and not them. I've and heard of a get dog elected, yeah. getting elected, but not dead. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not only do you get re-elected, you get reanimated. <laughs> <laughs> Resurrection politics. What's next? By Dunk. Hey, that might create a bit of uh, bit of work for Dunk, actually. Mm. Uh, hey, no, we got a cool shout out here. Ozzy T gifted five shills memberships, and they... I only have three names. Uh, uh, Theresa... Anspa, uh, Barry Monday, Confederate States of America, who mentioned that earlier in the live chat, actually, but it only gives me three names, not five. I'll read out the other two when I find them. <laughs> uh, where do we go now? I think it's Dunk's turn. Well, moving on to uh, sheep news. <laughs> hey, uh, where's, where's the goat stream? Oh, here yeah, we are. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> a Love wandering this. herd of sheep were found behaving strangely. I'm not too sure what strange behaving sheep looked like, but after they ate more than 200 pounds of cannabis plants while searching for food on the flooded plains of central Greece, the herd who invaded a greenhouse producing medical cannabis near the Greek town of Almorus. <laughs> and uh, the, the hungry herd, which was seen traversing the flooded plains, were reported to have been exhibited strange behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep managed to finish what was left of the crop that was uh, d damaged uh, during the storm, uh, which battered most of Europe earlier this month. The owner of the crop told the local media, I don't know, we should laugh or cry. <laughs> 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 we had we had the heat wave we had the floods we lost almost everything and now this the herd <laughs> entered the greenhouse and ate what was left i don't know what to say honestly <laughs> look at the grin on that sheep's face it's fried <laughs> uh, 
God. Can you imagine all those sheep seeing pink elephants everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all somehow ended up in a small cafe Ooh. listening to Pink Floyd on vinyl. <laughs> no, they were listening to animals. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Pigs on the wing took them there. Uh. <laughs> do you do you reckon if they had enough of it that they'd just cozy up by the fire on a human skin rug? Uh oh, has that one gone over everyone's heads? Never mind. Yeah, no, that's Move not. On. I think they would. I think they would. <laughs> Although a human skin rug would be like making one out of chicken skin. It would just end up looking like a big flattened nutsack. I'm not sure anybody wants it's, that. Yeah, we're not. We're not woolly enough, are we? Well, some yeah. of us. <laughs> okay, so I got two here, but they play off each other. Just follow along and you won't get stuck. But Philips Hue, you know, those light bulbs everybody loves, have just changed and gone against everything that it's said in their marketing and stuff for a long time. But for security, everyone will now be required to have a Philips Hue account in order to uh, control their lights. You have to be all connected through the cloud now. No more of this doing it at home. For security. Because connecting and sharing your information online with other companies is always safer than not. Right? Of course. what, What happens when your internet drops out? Yeah, well, what happens when you do share your information with a company? Well, a ransomware company comes along and hacks it all because that's what just happened to Sony. So, yeah, putting all your information online is for security, Phillips. We totally believe you now, and we don't think you're going to start paywalling any of your services or anything like that at all. End of life early, anyone? Yeah, stay away from Phillips, people. They're one of these greed companies that's taken it way too far like lots are these days. Fuck you. Are they going to be under- doing like subscription light? So you're going to be subscribed <laughs> to actually get some light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your payment's five minutes late. The all the lights in your house turn off, and yet you have electricity. <laughs> it's just that's bad. So yeah, I recommend you stay away from them. Yeah, just get a light bulb. <laughs> just a light bulb. Just an ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to change colours, put, you know, sweet wrappers over it or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like from a rose's tin. Yeah, exactly. Like we used to do when we were kids. Yeah. You used to, st- you used to stick them on your eyeballs so you could, uh, you know, see the world in different colours. You- you're muted, so see. muted. Oh, shit. I thought I hit the button. Let's go over to Dave. Yeah. His next one might, uh, it, it might, you know have a punch to it <laughs> oh, good. oh of course yes 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 we've got the uh have we got the uh the video we've got a video yeah uh the instagram one here right ah sweet there's, there's just a couple it's a, a where's dick yes so we're, we're gonna do just a little musical interlude here and uh we've got to try and um <laughs> this is a dick but we're gonna pretend it is so we you know how we do a baby starsky little bit now and again on the uh, the saturday ukraine streams well this is baby dick okay <laughs> you gotta, you, but you've got to decide amongst yourselves which one it is so i okay. can't tell all right let's 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 let this go here uh i wonder if i can yeah oh wait a minute that got out of hand here quick uh no it's too much here that's the best i can do for some reason there's no safe in between all right here we go Oh, it's mute. Should be coming through, isn't it? We just make the noises, Dave. No sound, eh? Interesting. I have it set up so everybody should hear this. Uh, let's see here. Why That's not? Right. Why don't we we'll go to uh, Dunk? We're trying to sort that one out. Hold on a Does that work? Well, hold on. It should have all... Ah! Is that working? Yeah. Okay. The uh, OBS capture for audio off of this thing started muted, even though I had... Un- uh, whatever. Okay, ah, here we go. Yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. We'll try this again. Where's the sound? Oh, it. Fuck, I reload the page and it mutes. This is 
is very shills. <laughs> I put a poll down at some point just to try and see which one it was. I think it's the drummer. I don't know. Yeah, I, I played drums on that one. No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh that looks so much like you. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just had to throw that one in. Uh,. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, dunk expensive food. Yes, when art goes bananas. A hungry museum visitor in South Korea recently chowed down on Morosio's Catalan's banana art piece titled The Comedian, which was an estimated worth of $120,000. Yeah, art but, is great. But, yeah, but, I get no, you all that, but look at it. <laughs> it's a banana taped to the wall. It's yes, about it. It's worth about a dollar forty. You haven't heard the half of it yet, Dick. So, uh, ho ho oh, never mind what his name is, but the South Korean art student visited the Leo uh, Museum of Art in Seoul and reportedly ate the art piece simply because he skipped breakfast and was hungry. <laughs> he then taped the banana peel back onto the museum. Whoa, there's a picture of that, Dick, if you scroll down. <laughs> uh, the museum did not take punitive measures against Noya, <laughs> in instead replaced the banana peel with a fresh banana. <laughs> Typically, right, this is, the, this is the crazy bit. Typically, the museum replaces the banana every two or three days anyway. What? So it's not even the original art piece. Yeah. The <laughs> Uh, the museum stated that it does not have plans to claim damages or press charges against the student, but for the artist uh, Morosio Catalan, the frequent consumption of the, his work is no problem. He acknowledges that his work is largely satirical and pokes fun at the absurdities of popular culture. Of course he bloody does. Oh, it's a banana tape. Oh, no. oh. Yeah. The banana is a symbol of global trade and, and, and double entendre as well as a classic device for humour. Catalan uses everyday objects in his art like, as vehicles for both delight and critique. Yeah, yeah critique that. Uh, those seem to find his own meaning of the art piece for, uh, telling the career herald that damage of work of modern art could also be interpreted as art. <laughs> if, if somebody came along and touched up the Mona Lisa once or twice a day, it wouldn't be quite worth what it is. I, I, I yeah. this, this is just ridiculous. Or just, or just change it for a fresh one. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is just telling the patrons that come through the doors at your art gallery that they're idiots. <laughs> just, now, now, now you think you think that's idiotic okay this still rakes in millions for the artist the first the first now here you get here it gets silly the first copy of comedian at miami art base uh, uh miami art basil oh, i don't even know what it means but it sold for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. the second sold at the same price the museum put up another copy for sale for 150 they just taped another banana on the wall and charged. I mean, I mean, what do they do once they sell it? Because do you have to like shellac it rock. really quick so that yeah. you don't have to replace the banana every day? Because that would be like that would be like taking home a painting that's like a pet and it has maintenance and you know it's like <laughs> well uh, yeah does 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 like you know if you buy it for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars does somebody come around every two or three days to replace the banana they with a bloody fresh one? well better <laughs> <laughs> better wash my car and take out the trash too <laughs> oh yeah jesus christ i was uh, watching a video Insane. recently of um at the early <sighs> early years of Banksy and how he, um, what he was doing, he was going around to famous art galleries and just putting up random pieces of artwork just to see how long it would last before somebody noticed. Mm -hmm. Right. And some of these art pieces were up for days. <laughs> People were just like, ah, yeah, it's an Andy Warhol. That's the, that's <laughs> funny. What? Yeah, no, it's that like is kind of yeah. be beans or yeah, something. Yeah. 
somebody uh, comes along and just opens it, you know. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's let's crack on. Yeah, Dawson, yeah. What you got next? Uh, the birthplace of the atomic bong, Los Alamos, is in a huge bit of growth right now because the uh, American military people, whoever that control the place, I don't really know, um, are all in a tither these days that they don't have enough nuclear resources for the future. So it's all plutonium building and whatnot. And uh, yeah, hooray for humanity. God damn it. You know? And this is very much military, not like, uh, you know, power plant. Don't get the wrong idea here, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, for the, this is for naughty nuclear stuff. Not yeah. The good nuclear stuff. This is for making things go boom and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, mm. ballooning right now, big time. So I'm not Invest. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you happen to see that they're building a weird spaceship crashed in the Earth city in Los Alamos, maybe invest in that one because yeah. they've got the workers. <laughs> if, and, if, and if you've got any plutonium at home, sell, sell, sell. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is a great time to own a DeLorean because you can fuel up cheap. <laughs> uh, where do we go over to Dave here? Okay. Um uh, nice segue as well. Yes. Uh, <laughs> beautiful story that doesn't make any sense. A family who saw 10 foot aliens in their garden double down on bizarre claim with sketches. Oh, because that's proof. Yeah, Evidence. it's real. It's definitely it's real. Um, it's basically confirmed. Um, put your tinfoil hat on and um, yeah, just uh, kiss your ass goodbye. Yeah. Basically, this is the end. So uh, uh, what I really like about this, an officer's body cam had captured a bright ball of light glowing in the night sky over the Nevada. Oh, it was Nevada as well. So, shortly beforehand, leading colleagues to investigate a call they would usually otherwise ignore. Because, you know, yeah. light <laughs> means aliens. Yeah. It just, it oh, just look at does. this. Look at this, Picasso. Look at it. <laughs> it's, that's, that's not 10 foot. <laughs> It's, it's mental. I mean, the images produced by 16-year-old Angel and his dad, Bobby, are both eerily similar to classic depictions of aliens from science fiction films. But and yet so And yet somehow, sorry, and yet somehow don't look much like each other. That was the main <laughs> problem. Well, they're they not had twins. Them, <laughs> they had to scroll down a little bit more there, Dick, and you'll see the other one as well. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, have to draw them separately. You gotta be <laughs> shitting me. There's no way. They... <laughs> oh, I, I hope they put them up on the fridge later with the magnets. You know. The, uh, <laughs> how how old are these children? I mean, is three. Like three, three? Yeah. No, there's 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 a uh, no. The one was a 16 year old, and the yeah, other is his dad. Yeah, but look at here in the pic. Look yeah. at the kid on the left. The, look at that look on his face, the way he's looking up. He's like, yeah, I am a horrible liar. <laughs> yeah, please, look please, that. please let me be adopted. <laughs> <laughs> For, oh, oh uh, another bit here. Footage from the uh, Las Vegas police shows one officer telling another he has butterflies as they approach the house. But before leaving less than 20 minutes later, they jokingly tell the family, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? <laughs> Deal with it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, it turns uh, out that a local basketball team had crashed their bus, and we're just looking for help. <laughs> yeah. Sell, 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 sell the art for, for $120,000 and buy a fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Well, I mean, oh wait, no, it gets worse. Sorry. Three days later, Bobby claims he saw a government car containing men in black who came to investigate. Oh wow! <laughs> when you've got a double down. Oh. Uh, sorry, we all Dick. know he would have been neuralized then. Uh yeah, Dunk, your turn here with a very, very. <laughs> Oh. You, once you get this in your head, it's it's stuck there. Sorry. This, this is this is the main headlight for tonight. Yeah, penis pains. 
A personal trainer suffered from a gruesome penile injury when his attempt at enlarging his manhood went horrifically wrong. The man, obviously, uh, was 24 from and from India, ended up with his penis stuck in a metal weight, roughly three kilograms. What? He apparently, <laughs> he apparently well, no, not no, the, the weight was three cal- kilograms, not his penis. Yeah, but, but, uh, but, but, but. <laughs> He apparently assumed he could transform his middle leg muscle in the same way as his other muscles, uh, devising a dangerous plan to just do that. The bloke inserted his penis into the hole of the weight plate and while it while it was flaccid, the penis, not the weight, before, before getting himself hard. He then, he then he attempted to lift the weight using wait, his wait. erect penis. Wait a minute. <laughs> So he puts he puts the man's sausage through the hole. You can see yeah. the center hole there. And yeah. then he proceeds to give her a little bit of this to get things going so oh. that... Uh, dirty pictures. I don't know. Pictures of aliens. I don't know. Something. I uh, just can't believe humanity is still well, surviving at this point. So here you go. A urologist said he ignored what was at uh, first mild pain and swelling, continuing in excitement. Uh, <laughs> however, things got, soon got extremely painful. After some time, when the intensity of the pain and swelling increased <laughs> in his penis, he tried to remove the weight plate, but he couldn't do oh, so. Oh, my fucking God. He... He panicked and decided to visit the doctor. Oh, the, this didn't chop it off. The, the, why the, didn't he just look at pictures of like you know horrible things? Well, yeah, well, no, well, no because Margaret Thatcher. Well, well there, no, there's 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 a medical reason for this. Uh, it's, uh, I'll get to that in a second. But this the personal trainer was accompanied by relatives <laughs> when he finally <laughs> went to the hospital. How would, what do you do? What do you put your trousers on? I can't. You put put, put your baggy trousers on over the top of the, it's still showing. Oh. The whole t- whole two hours after first putting his penis on the hole, uh, his manhood was described as being incarcerated. Basically, it's just f- filled up with blood on the other, on the wrong side. Uh, ah! Pain killing drugs and even surgical efforts were deployed to reduce the swelling before medics eventually managed to slide the plate off. Ah! P- penile incarceration, only uh, also known as penile strangulation never strangle it occurs when the blood supply to the penis is blocked that, by an object or a body part when mm. somebody says choke your chicken they don't mean it <laughs> it, it can it can cause penile necrosis a rare drive uh, form of dry gangrene can lead to partial or total amputation oh that's that's why I only put my cock in donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, with sprinkles. Oh, my God. So uh, it's just, I, 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 I can't. I just. <laughs> oh, God. That is so screwed up. That is so fu- screwed up. Um, um, I want to bring up real quick here before we're done. Uh, the Pixel Fold, Google, or um, uh, Samsung, or no, the Google there. They're now playing ball with right to repair. And yeah, the inner screen alone will cost you $900. So good luck with that. <laughs> and oh, uh, Signal, uh, Meredith Whitaker have confirmed that if the UK uh, forces their hand with this privacy bill where you have to build a back door for the government in your app, online signal will leave because they will not do it so i applaud them i like that very much uh dave you want to get a last one in here you got oh oh uh, you got one minute we got we got to do we we, we got to do the uh um oh that's right you got to fill that in yeah go don't go okay yeah okay okay so i let the wife bonk the pizza delivery boy and his todger did not fit my well we had in the uh, chat we had uh, the, 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 the pizza boy, but his todger wouldn't fit the, in the dollhouse. Uh, didn't fit in my credit card. Um, uh, I, I used to be a pizza delivery boy. I never got bonked, but sometimes got tipped. Ooh. Uh, the <laughs> so there you go. Very good. Uh, the actual answer is I let my life, my wife bonk the pizza delivery boy, but his todger did not fit in my condoms. Yes, uh, I would love to go into this story, but I don't know if we have time. Uh, uh, well, you, yeah, we, you got thirty seconds. 
Okay, okay. So uh, a, a couple with a very unconventional relationship. They are a very open relationship. They do, do webcam stuff. Uh, Holly Jones is a hot wife, which means her husband uh, has no problem with her having sex with other men. Anyway, they uh, they do this sort of stuff online. But the you know, uh, one time the uh, her fans were saying um, you know do something unexpected. They ordered a pizza. The delivery boy came up. And the uh, fans were like paying her money, so invite her in. Um, yeah, and one night uh, after she ordered a pizza, the fans were daring her to go a little further. So the pizza guy came. Jesus, that was quick. Jesus. Oh, and 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 she answered the door nude. Oh. Uh, clearly, the delighted pizza delivery driver uh, handed Holly her food, and then it, she invited him in uh, while her boyfriend was filming, uh, the, moving the cameras around in the garage. Uh, yeah, there's only one thing you say if that woman shows up at the door naked when you knock on it. Tupperware party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta go. We'll say goodbye in the credits later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, babe. So yeah, big shout out to CF Beauty there for doing all she does in the background and running the mod team and stuff. And we had Catalan T, BME, Shana Caldwell, the Croton, and ANA helping with the big stuff today. So thanks everybody. Woohoo! Yeah, and uh, well, you know, you can always super chat us because uh, that sort of thing really helps us. And uh, obviously, you can always send in direct donations. These things are literally keeping the roof over our heads. Uh, to our channel members, you're the backbone of this community. You've got the VI pass to dangle around in my inner circle. And uh, you're thrilled to have you on board. You can find my donuts and uh, weight rings there. Uh, if you had fun, please hit like, share the video, and leave a comment. Those things really help the channel. And make sure you get into the Discord as well because it's free and you can talk to everyone in the chat and continue the discussion. If you have any stories that you wish to submit for us to read out on the show, then let us know. Dick. Bye. Good night, everybody. See you, see you soon. Bye. Keep chilly. Bye, Zeke.